Eurozone finance ministers will discuss whether to agree a third bailout package for Greece on Friday at their meeting in Brussels after the Greek parliament voted to approve the terms. The following are comments from ministers and officials. German finance minister Wolfgang Schiebel. I'm actually quite confident that we can reach an agreement today. The preparations have progressed well. We will see once again how far the declarations of the summit have been implemented, there are certain differences there. We have to see that we can get a clear, possibly binding, commitment from the IMF. That's a prerequisite for us but we've always said that has to be feasible. The IMF has its own rules but we will have to find a way. I think that at the end of today we will have a result. EU Commission Vice President for the Euro Valdis Dombrovskis We believe the program provides a basis for strong economic recovery provided it is fully implemented. There are a number of questions still to be resolved, in terms of banking sector, in terms of financing needs. But we believe the technical agreement, which has been reached, provides a good basis for a political agreement today. IMF is on board as concerns program conditionality. We know that IMF has its own program, but we do not expect a formal decision on this today. Finnish Finance Minister Alexander Stubb There are a lot of nitty-gritty issues to be solved today but I would be very surprised if we don't get agreement today. Dutch Junior Finance Minister Eric Wiebes IMF involvement is crucial for the Netherlands. It's still not clear to me that debt relief is necessary. Slovak Finance Minister Peter Kazimir In a tweet, soft, debt, relief possible as a reward for thorough implementation, not a precondition for the program. Belgian Finance Minister Johan van Overt Belt We hope that we can get rid of some gaps which are still in the gaps. Such issues are the restructuring of the banks, what happens to the non-performing loans. There is some further clarity needed on the conditionality and the sustainability of the country's debt and the way it is calculated. It is certainly not a formality. This has to be it. It has to be a program which ends this situation, especially for the Greek people. What we have is a huge step in the right direction but is not yet completely comprehensive. Eurogroup Chairman Jeroen Dijsselbloem There is a long list of conditions on the basis of which Greece will gradually get the support. We are not talking about wiring 86 billion euros, we are talking about the first steps. There are some worries about recapitalizing banks which could be very expensive, the privatization fund and a third issue is the involvement of the IMF which is important for many countries. It, the meeting, won't be short. There will be questions, there will be criticism, perhaps on issues that will have to be clarified or improved. Debt sustainability is certainly a major point of concern, certainly for the IMF. The IMF will also look at that and we will look at it closely in October and hopefully we can make sure that it is sustainable by then and give further guarantees, if necessary, so that the IMF can come on board in October. The IMF won't decide before October. I think we will hear today that the IMF is positive about the package. Speaking earlier in Amsterdam. The fact that the Greek parliament has signed off on this package, this far-reaching package for Greece, is good news but the Eurogroup must also agree with it. We're going to look at the content, we're going to talk about political trust. That's still a factor of course with Greece, can we trust that it's actually going to happen? If it appears that in reality nothing is happening then the program will be halted again very quickly. French Finance Minister Michel Sapin We are here to decide after a very important job done by the institutions and the Greek government which has taken on its responsibility. In autumn, this coming October, we will debate what is essential, a reprofiling of the Greek debt so that it's sustainable, acceptable and which allows the Greek economy, the Greek budget, to breathe to get back some oxygen, to recover economic activity. EU Commission spokeswoman Annika Briadhart We are encouraged by the strong vote this morning in the Greek Parliament and on this basis and the basis of the ambitious agreement that was reached between the institutions and the Greek authorities, a positive outcome is entirely feasible today.